Which category are you judging? TV and, uh, TV and cinema. And uh, what would you say the standards like? Um, I guess the standards are very professional. What do you mean? Well, it's very slick, very professional. Uh, uh, a lot of what you see is very expensive shoots uh, or a lot of stunts uh, or a lot of weird humour. So, and they seem to be the three criteria that you have to have one of those. And the shame is, I've seen some really good ideas that in there that didn't cost anything to shoot and they were uh, dead cheap and uh, they didn't get in, they didn't make it through. There's 22 people on my jury, uh, and only 10 of them are from the UK. So it's hard, we're not all going to have the same criteria. And the one thing that kind of impresses everybody when you've got a, an international jury like this, it's not about the writing, it's about the visuals. Everybody understands the visuals. So what works is really expensive, really well shot uh, commercials. Uh, uh, not necessarily well written, not necessarily unusual, not necessarily that daring, but very professionally, slickly, well shot and well produced. Um, because it's international, visuals work in any language. So unfortunately we lost some really good um, we lost some really good ideas that I thought were really nice, dirt cheap to shoot, really great, interesting ideas. And I'm thinking that's a shame because a lot of students and kids look at the DNAD annual more than the, the awards don't matter so much, the annual matters more than as what the work they should be doing and what they're going to look at and see is what you should do is wait until you can afford to do really expensive shoots instead of a lot of the stuff I like that we threw out was really cheap little ads with post-it notes that cost nothing you could do it in your kitchen on the fridge with a, with a little video camera uh, or one about printer uh, 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 which is again a great idea and uh, all you need is a locked off camera on the printer and I think it's a shame we should have included great ideas, not just expensive, not just expensive shoots and expensive visuals. Things that are that, that are good for youngsters to aspire to. It's just great, simple, powerful graphic ideas. Yeah. And would you say that this kind of professional look is a, a trend that you see in advertising? Oh yeah. At the oh yeah. For the last five to ten years, yeah. As agencies get more international and uh, as DNAD gets more international, and DNAD, of course, is the most. Um, um, uh, most the one that's most like an icon of all the awards. Yeah. So the, the two awards that most people care about now is Cannes and DNAD, and they're all international. So what you do is you get what works internationally, which is visuals, big expensive visuals. And so that's definitely the trend. And um, I think what hopefully what will happen is you'll have some kind of some something that's a little more regional too. I kind of like. The, you know, I used to like the New York art directors as well, because it was work you'd never see in England. When I was growing up, when I was young in the business things, I used to pour through the New York art directors annual to work you'd never see in England. So, uh, I, don't think, I don't think it's necessarily a good thing that everything goes corporate and global and, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's the word when it's like white bread? Uh, And have there been big arguments about these kind of things? I don't think the big arguments, because it's very difficult to have arguments with a 22 people on an international jury, because it comes down to, well, I like it. You can't, because our frames of reference are so different. If it was just 10 people from London, we could argue about it. But because you've got guys from France, Italy, Argentina, Colorado, Toronto, you know, it, it, it comes down to, well, when I saw it, I felt like this about it. It's very subjective. Yeah. So, and then you re-vote it all, and it gets voted exactly the same way again. So, so uh, it's a bit unwieldy. You know, what tends to, what tends to win is, is the stuff that doesn't polarise people. And I think that's unfortunate. The, the stuff that polarises people, you either love it or hate it. I think it's a shame that that gets thrown out. What gets what, what what wins is stuff that everybody quite likes and nobody hates very much. What do you feel sets DNAD apart from other Well, DNAD always was the gold standard when uh, when I was in the business. Uh, I 
things I'm, I'm not so sure now so much because it's so international. It's like Cairns, never really was. DNA Deal always was. But the, the reason DNA Deal always was, for me, was because it had the annual. Everybody, you know, Cairns and everything else, they just, the night after the awards, it's dead. Whereas DNA Deal, the annual stays in there and you go through the annuals until you learn every word and every everything in it. It used to be the same with the New York Art Directors annuals. That's why those two were the two most influential. Because everybody collected all the annuals and every agency would have 20 annuals, 20 New York Art Directors, 20 DNIDs. And whenever you were stuck, you'd just go and flick through them for inspiration, you know? Or, and, um, Do you think it still has the same the annual? The annual? It's difficult to say for kids. I mean, it's a bit more, a bit too designy for me now. It used to be more advertising and now it's a lot more design. Uh, and that doesn't have such relevance, obviously, to me. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you, and, and maybe it's a little more, as it becomes more international, it becomes more lowest common denominator and more all things to everybody and less a survey. But that could be my own personal taste. That's just, that, that's not a judgment, it? it's just. But there isn't anything else to touch it still, so it's still it's still the best by default. Because there isn't a challenge if no one else has an annual. Well, except Creative Circle, maybe. Which they want to make a, um, a, a an English a GB Awards. So maybe that's an opening, as, as DNAD used to be the, the GB Awards. As it's grown, maybe it's left the vacuum. You see this year's uh, uh, Creative Circle annual. It's the best annual I've seen for 20 years. The Beano. Fantastic! It's the, the annual is better than the work in it. That annual <laughs> ought to win a DNAD's gold. It's up for one, I think. Yeah, 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 that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, some sort of strange. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it's so English. I love their uh, posters. The, the yeah, 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 with the, with the head gradually yeah, growing yeah. bigger. Yeah. See, that's more the sense of fun that everything should have, yeah. rather than as it gets bigger, it's a bit more ponderous and a bit more serious and a bit more. Everything kind of gets weighed down with the weight of itself. My DNAD always used to be, the slogan always was stimulation, not congratulation. I think if you could fault it with anything now, you'd say it's more now congratulation, not stimulation. <laughs>